Michigan Week's finally here. Not many people want to talk about it. You can't mention them by name, but Dylan Davis, myself, and special guest Andre Sims here with you this week for the state news recap of Mark D'Antonio's press conference. And, you know, as everybody knows, it's a big game this week with the Wolverines. A lot of implications on the line, especially in the Legends Division, where Michigan State leads with a 4-0 record. And, you know, high stakes on the line with the Wolverines coming to town. Andre, what was the biggest thing you heard from Coach D today? Really just toughness and um, being able to come out with intensity and enthusiasm because this is a big game for us. Uh, Michigan, every year is a big game for us. And we just got to come out ready to fight because it's going to be a dog fight. And, um, you know, assignment sound, do what you're supposed to do, and hopefully things will go our way. And so you've been inside the program. Tell us how what's different inside those walls in the practice field, in the meeting rooms. What's different about this week specifically? Is it a feeling, you know, just everyone's louder, you know, maybe they're more silent and focused? What's different about this week? Uh, people are really, really more enthused this, this whole week. It started on Sunday. The game for us uh, against Illinois on Saturday was that day. But when Sunday came, everybody was tuned in and ready for Michigan. So it's more like a, a hate, like, ah, like you was on the field with these guys, you know how they are, you know. It's just like, oh, you know, I can't stand them. And it's just like we carry that throughout the whole week. And um, it just builds up. And it's just like when you're mad, did you, did you take it out on that on that Saturday. And it's just you know, it's a good feeling to just play in front of them and then knowing you're getting the best of them. So really throughout the whole week, that's what we preach, you know, get the best of them, enthusiasm, get in their face. It's just it's going to be a dog like I said. What was that recruiting process like? Did you hear from Michigan at all? I didn't. Um, really, I didn't. I wasn't into the Big Ten when I was being recruited because I'm from down south and some of the teams down there were talking to me. But um, Mich Michigan State was my first offer. And when I got the offer, I looked into it a little bit more. I came up here, I visited, I liked the school. And I didn't really know much about the rivalry. I thought Michigan was uh, Ohio State's rival. I didn't know Michigan and Michigan State were kind of like, you know, kind of button heads too. But um, no, I didn't get I didn't get any uh, any uh, looks from Michigan. Quite frankly, I really I'm happy I didn't because I'm here now and you know I love my decision. Uh, you know I stand away from those those things. I'm gonna worry about our football team right now. Um, you know I think that um, that game in 2011 was a was a tough football game, a lot of emotion, and you know sometimes th things spun out of control maybe a little bit as well. But uh, I think it was a great football game. So uh, my main focus is to get our players playing hard. We always have. We're gonna play tough. We're gonna play within the rules. And uh, the refs have to control the football game. I think that's a, very important because it goes on both ends. So, uh, you know, where am I with that? Yeah, I, that's, that's accurate. But I will say this. You guys can print all this. Just because you like somebody in the family doesn't mean you like the whole family. So. <laughs> but I, I, I have a great deal of respect for Brady and um, his coaching abilities. You know, very close with his brother. Uh, so back in the day, so uh, you know, good man. I say my my uh, my first rivalry moment was rivalry that we my freshman year, my true freshman year, uh, practicing to the game. Everybody just had detailed focus, and everybody was just locked in throughout practice, and just going down there to uh, you know down down the road and to play with the guys at, at the stadium. My freshman year, I played in the game and just. Just playing the game, I just realized how much, how big what the rivalry was. Of course, it's a, it's a, it's going to be a lot of talking on uh, both sides of the ball. Uh, it's a rivalry game. Everybody know that we don't like each other pretty much, and I mean, there will be teams do. We uh, battle back and forth, and we're just going to have a little fun. We're going to talk back, and that's that's all in the game. I mean, that, that's my earliest, you know, going to that TJ Duggan thing, but I think it just kind of grew up as a kid, you know, my, I know my dad liked Michigan State, and I'd go to school, and other kids like Michigan, and they would, you know, we'd start talking, you know, back and forth even when we were little, so I think that's kind of where you learn it, you know, is when you're a kid, and in middle school guys are, um, you know, rooting for each of their teams, and in elementary school, it's just kind of, that's kind of where it starts to grow, at least it did for me, um, just, you know, having that, Barbaric, I don't say barbaric, but that can, you know, that conflict between the two even when you're young. Andre, if you had to pick one player or coach, who do you think hates Michigan more than anybody in this program? Uh, oh, I think all of us hate. I mean, well, the people who've been here for quite a while now. Maybe if you've been here for 
as a player, if you've been here for more than two years, and as a coach, you've been here for a long time. I think all of us hate him as much as as much as the next person. But if I had to pick somebody that hates him the most, uh, Coach D, you know, he's a head coach, so he's always thinking positive. So I'd probably say our captain, Max Willie, he hates him the most. He, I don't think he says the word Michigan. I don't think he's ever said the word Michigan. And, you know, it's just like, he, yeah, he hates him. So I, I have to it's interesting you said that because Max spoke at the press conference today and he was talking about watching the 2001 game with uh, TJ Duckett and just seeing the clock gate game, you know, and that's a big game of the, the rival. You think of that game, you think of the game where Larry Caber beat him in overtime. You think, uh, you know, Michigan had that nice win streak early 2000s. Michigan State won four in a row before it got snapped last year. So there's lots of lots to think about when you head into the weekend. What's a, what's, what's a key to the game, would you say, you know, to, to put Michigan State over the top? I mean, big plays. I know the offense, you know, we have to live up to our reputation. Um, we have to keep moving the ball like we've been doing. If we keep doing what we're doing, um, just to piggyback off of this Illinois win and all the things that we did that were good, if we can keep that going, the defense will handle it. We're not really concerned about the defense because, quite frankly, the defense is probably the number one defense in the nation, if you ask us. So the defense is going to hold it down regardless. If the offense comes out and do what they have to do, how we have to do, then everything will click, you know, we'll score points that will hold them and will be comfortable enough to, you know, do what we want to do from there on. But big plays, it starts up front with the O-line, like like Blake, uh, Blake said. You know, we have faith in those guys, and, you know, they're the foundation. If they get, if they get the ball moving and set the protection for Connor to make reads and for uh, Jeremy, um, Nick, uh, Dalton to run the ball, then we'll, we'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, you know, it just piggybacks on what they do, and then on the outside, having what we got to do. And then... You know, the game will be, will be ours, really. Got it. You heard it from him. So keep checking statenews.com the rest of the week. Obviously, we'll be here looking forward to the anticipated matchup in Spartan Stadium. And uh, that's all for this week.